Yes. Welcome to Skyline Agility. This is the training of the recall. You can use a piece of food to encourage your dog to come to your hand. Notice that the team is facing in the same direction so that no one will have to run backwards. When your dog consistently comes to your hand, you can begin to play games to build enthusiasm. Be sure that your dog is comfortable working off both sides. The spin teaches your dog to look to your hands for direction. You can use a piece of food to introduce the spin. Once your dog is comfortable, work in both directions. A fast, reliable sit will give you a huge advantage on the agility course. To teach a sit, raise a piece of food slightly above the dog's head. When the head goes up, the butt goes down. Your dog will also need to know down. To save time on the down, you want your dog to go directly from a stand to a down without sitting. There are different ways to teach this. Your instructor will show you a good way for your dog. Ready? This is the pause table. The judge will tell you ahead of time if your dog will need to sit or down on the table. There are different ways of hitting the contact. The two most common ways are a stop on the bottom and a running contact. Okay. For the stop method, put your dog's back end on an inclined surface and his front end on the ground. Reward him for this position. Gradually increase the dog's distance from the bottom. A running contact means your dog does not stop at the contact but hits it on the way by. One way of teaching this is with a touch board. This dog was taught to touch the board with her foot. The board was then moved to the contact zone and the dog learned to hit it on the way by. When the board is removed, she will aim for the slat. Sure. The weave pulls are slalom. Notice the dog always enters with his left shoulder against the first pull. In other words, he always enters on the right side of the first pull. Different sized dogs use different footwork through the weave pulls. Smaller dogs often bounce, which is both front feet together. Larger dogs often single track, which is one front foot on either side. Shoulder pull is an indication of a turn. The handler's direct shoulder is turned away from the dog to face the new direction. A front cross is a change of sides taking place ahead of the dog. You are in front of the dog, but not necessarily in front of the obstacle. In this case, the handler is in front of the obstacle. In this case, the handler will be next to the obstacle.
A back cross is a change of sides taking place behind the dog. It is also called a cross behind. In this case, the dog starts on the right of the handler and ends on her left. Here are some drills that you can do at home. You will only need one jump. A broomstick and two flower pots will do. Special thanks to Bryce, Molly, Holly, Kestrel, Blitz, and Jorin.